Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're talking about ABing stuff. And to start with, let's talk about ABing plugins on the same track. So I got this drum bus right here and I got this snare reverb send. And on this track, as you can see, I have two reverbs. And I'm not sure which one I want to use. So I want to AB these two things. So this is pretty easy to do. And there's a hotkey for this that is native to Reaper. And as far as I know, you can't change this. So it'll be control B for PC users and command B for Mac users. And what that that does is that it bypasses selected plugins. So if I start out by having one of these on and the other one off, I can then select both of them and I can hit command and B to AB between them. And this also works if, for example, you have a bunch of plugins that you want to AB together. So on the Fab Filter, I already have an EQ that I can play with. And say on the Black Hole, I don't have full control of that. So I have also brought an EQ one. So when I want to AB, I want the Black Hole and this second EQ to be on together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my track and I'm just going to hit Command and B. So that's pretty simple. So kind of one notch up from that in terms of simplicity, when you want to AB one thing against everything else. So that comes in handy, for example, if I want to check my mix against my reference track. So I have this reference track up here. So I want to hear my mix and then I want to hear the reference track and I want to compare tones and balance and all that stuff together. Easiest way to AB one thing against everything else is to mute that one thing. Right now, if I play my project, you will hear this entire mix. If I simply click on the solo button here, that solo button will will mute all the other tracks, so we will just hear the reference track. So something to remember here is that solo negates the mute. So if a track is both muted and soloed, the solo wins, if that makes sense. And in the event that you have more than one reference track, what I like to do is implode all my reference tracks to a single take, and then I can just click between them. But maybe you have two reference tracks and you want to do the same thing. So this time the key to doing it is not to just click on the solo button, but to use this mouse modifier, Option, command and click. That way, as I play my track, I'm hearing my entire mix now. Now I do command option and click. Now I'm hearing just my first reference track. And then if I option command click on the other one, it will exclusive solo this one. So that one will also go back to being muted. And then if I just click this again, I'm back to hearing my mix. I'm good to go. So next up, let's try something a little more complex and we'll cover a bunch of things in one example. So I have these two guitars here and then these two guitars down here. These two are playing the same thing and I want to select one of them to play and the other one to just take out of the project. The mix is already too dense. So I want to AB these elements together. So first of all, say that I'm focusing on the guitar bus. So I want to keep the guitar bus soloed. And if I want to, for example, exclusive solo something else, I don't want the guitar bus solo status to go away. So one thing that you can do if you have a track that is soloed and you want to keep it soloed is to solo it. And then you right click here and you say lock track controls. So once you do that, it doesn't matter what I do, that track will always remain solo. So for example, normally if you hold command or control and click a solo button, it will unsolo everything. But as you can see, that won't be unsoloed. And then another thing I want to do is that these two lines that are exactly the same, they are playing against this third guitar element. So as I want to AB between them, I don't want these two tracks to be muted as a result of those tracks being soloed. So what I can do is select both of them. And this time I'm going to use this one, solo defeat. Default modifier for that is command shift and click or control shift and click. So by control shift and clicking on these, their solo button changes into a lock. As I solo other things, these will not get muted. So whatever track is solo defeated will not receive the message that another track has been soloed. And that way I can solo whatever I want and these will always remain unsoloed. So now the question is, how do we AB tracks 55 and 56 against tracks 52 and 53? Because what happens is when a bunch of tracks are selected, Selected and you hit a solo or mute or record arm button, the first time I click on this, it'll make all of them be the same thing. So the first time I click this, it will just solo all of them and then they work in parallel together. However, if you go to your actions list, you can see this action track toggle solo for selected tracks. When you use a toggle command, that will do a toggle. So by assigning a hotkey to these toggle icons, which for me is shift and S, I can do exactly what I want to do. Click on the first track and then I'm going to hold command or control to select all four tracks. Now I'm going to play my song. First of all, we'll continue to hear this track no matter what. And we'll always have our guitar bus soloed because we locked it. But also, now I can do this. So 
So I can also do the same thing with mutes, right? So in this mix, again, I have vocals that I recorded and vocals that a friend of mine has recorded. So since I have toggle mute for selected tracks also set to shift and M, I can just select these two with one of them muted. And now when I press shift M, I am muting and unmuting different buses. So I highly recommend you set a hotkey to toggle mute for selected tracks, as well as toggle solo for selected tracks. And while we're at it, also toggle bypass for selected tracks is really useful. I want to check my processing on these three tracks and my hotkey for that is option shift and F. So as I play the track, I can just hit that and bypass and unbypass these all together. So those are some of the ways you can AB stuff from a relatively simple bypass and unbypass thing that we can do on a track basis or by using the mute and solo button in conjunction with each other to AB between one thing and a bunch of things or using toggle hotkeys to toggle between two different group of stuff in real time or with the solos. And additionally, using solo defeat and exclusive solo, I can do that more quickly if I'm like A being these things against this one thing. And if at any point I want something to be taken out of this solo structure, I can just solo defeat that, which is something I do usually to all my buses. And as always, don't forget that command and clicking on a solo will unsolo all. Similarly, command and clicking on the mute will unmute all. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. You can now become a member of this channel and in exchange, you will get some perks. So if you want to find out more about that, click the join button or watch this video. As always, you can still donate to me through buymeacoffee.com and the link to that will be in the description as well. A huge thanks to all our previous donors, including Bo Denarius, who's donating for the sixth time. So thank you so much, Bo. And I still owe you a track feedback, so that's coming up. And otherwise, take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.